Hey guys, my name is Ali Jones and I am filming yet another video. Couldn't think of a fact, but that is that. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a kind of a one hour transformation video. This is like a little trend that's going on. I really have no plans for the rest of the day or after this. I'm literally just going to film, record, and that's it. Um, so yeah, that's that. This is this one hour transformation. Um, I sat down and just talked to you guys about a couple of things. And I also did some assumptions that some people assume about me, obviously. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get on into the video. So I don't know how like these one hour glam transformations work. I don't know if I actually time myself. Um, it is... 120 right now so i'm just gonna start doing my makeup you know what i mean um so i'm gonna first spray my face with a facial spray do i actually like tell you guys what i'm doing like i really don't know what to do here really confused <laughs> look i just want to sit down and film something I want to do my makeup but I just don't know what the other day I did my makeup and I really really liked the way it came out for whatever reason and let me know if this happens to you guys when I do my makeup there are some times when I can't get a good picture of my makeup if that makes sense like all of my pictures were trash like they just I don't know I just wasn't hitting my angles right I, I I don't know I don't know it's super windy outside today I heard there was like I think a tornado touched down in like Mendota or something like that correct me if I'm wrong but that's kind of terrifying I've never like seen with my own eyes in real life like a tornado I've never been like in a hurricane or earthquake anything like that but i will say like i do live in california so well actually i felt a hurricane before it was like a slight like or no not a hurricane an earthquake girl get it together an earthquake like i've felt like moving i felt like two or three times i think in my life um it's kind of freaky um but it's been storming a lot here in Fresno um, which is a good thing I'm really really happy we've been getting a lot more rain a lot of people complain about it and I'm like you complain when it's hot you complain when it's cold just shut your mouth okay like it's you people are never happy you know what I mean so what has been up with you guys I just like I said I just wanted to sit down and like record something I wanted to do my makeup because lately I feel like I haven't really done my makeup like I've been wearing makeup outside of like filming but it's like super simple and basic makeup like it's literally face makeup and lashes and that's it like nothing too crazy like with eyeshadow or anything so yeah that's why I'm here Oh my gosh, so if you live in an apartment, I feel like you can kind of relate to this if this has ever happened to you, but Eli and I, we live in a downstairs apartment, and since, um, I want to say since like maybe December or January, Eli and I have been able to hear our neighbors upstairs get frisky, if you know what I mean. We're kind of dealing with that. Like, I don't know how to go about... Like, I don't know if I should tell them. I don't know if I should tell the leasing office. Like, I just... <coughs> I don't know. I really really don't know and it's kind of frustrating because <laughs> I want to tell them so badly but like I don't know if it'll be like awkward you know what I mean I don't know if they'll be offended by it I don't know if like they'll just not care 
and I was telling Eli, I was like, I am to the point where I just like want to tell the leasing office, but there's no way that they'll not know that it's us because we live in a corner apartment and there's literally no one else on the other wall. Our bedrooms kind of like line up. So like their bedrooms literally right above ours and they'll for sure know that it's us because who else is going to complain about noise so that's where we are it's on and off like it's not every day like it used to be like when i say it used to be every day at the same times like it was every day at the same times so yesterday when our upstairs neighbors were getting frisky this is what makes me mad this this right here they literally start right before my alarm goes off and that to me if you really want to make me mad wake me up before my alarm goes off like sometimes i make myself mad because there will be times where i will literally wake up a minute before my alarm goes off and i'm like you have no self-respect ali because i you know i could have used that extra minute to get a good sleep you know what i mean so yesterday right before my alarm goes off i can start to hear them and when i say i can hear stuff it's their bed okay it's the bed let me just say the bed is an easy fix okay like just get a new bed get get something get a new bread frame get just figure it out they literally start right before my alarm goes off and i literally woke up out of my sleep and i was like you're kidding and eli he was like what and i go my freaking alarm is literally about to go off and they start now and the thing is the night before they were getting frisky at midnight I'm not even kidding, at midnight, at 12.03 a.m. And it is now 6.30 a.m. Did you even get eight hours of sleep? It's so frustrating because I like to sleep. I really, really do. Like, I enjoy my sleep. I don't know about you upstairs people, but I like my sleep. Like, sleep is something that i truly truly enjoy i can tell like it's a new relationship i mean it's been a few months now but it's still kind of fresh because it's literally on rotation at the same times at night and in the morning that's how long this has been going on because i know their routine i really do me personally and i've told eli this i would be exhausted like at that point it is just very predictable and it, for me, like, takes the fun out of, like, oh my gosh, my mom is going to see this. <laughs> Listen, mom, if you're watching this, <laughs> I feel myself getting hot. Okay. I love you, mom. Okay? I really do. This is so funny. Like I was saying, like, at that point, because you are getting frisky that often, day in and day out, like it's no longer exciting we sit there and we're just like really again like they're getting frisky again it's like what what is going on like come on so that's what we're going through right now and it's very annoying i don't know how to deal with it i really don't i've asked so many people i've asked friends i've asked you know i told my mom um i just i don't know what to do i really don't weird for me because i can hear it if i can't hear it fine you know do you baby boo but the fact that i can hear it from start to end bugs me so much because that it's just so weird to me at first eli and i thought it was like hilarious like when we first heard it we were like this isn't my life right now but now because it's like like it's a routine it's so stupid like so stupid 
but let me know if you have any suggestions on what Eli and I could do. Someone said buy earplugs and Eli has even said that. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to readjust the way I sleep and what I do for that, okay? I'm, I'm just, I'm not. I'm really, really not. I'm not about to sleep with earplugs in at night. I worry enough at sleep that I'm not going to be able to hear my alarm. So what makes you think I'm going to put earplugs in? Like... You really don't want me to wake up to get ready for work and stuff. Like, I got responsibilities. So, yeah. We'll, we'll see. I just texted Eli about the Anastasia palette that just came out. The Riviera one. Because he gets a discount on makeup. And Eli doesn't work in a makeup store. He works in a shoe store, but um, it is a department store, so... He gets to use like his discount on like all the things that are there. Um, I just sent him a picture of what I wanted and he was like, okay, we'll see. Like, is that a yes or no? Eli and I and um, our friends are going to Disneyland again for Disneyland's uh, food and wine festival. And I am so excited. Like, really, really excited. And we're going at the end of March. By the way, I can't believe it's already, like, March. Like, it was literally just January. I haven't bought new makeup in a while. I think the last new thing I bought was the James Charles palette. But, like, even then, like, I don't consider that, like, makeup shopping, you know? Ooh. Like, makeup shopping to me is, like, I mean... I shouldn't say that because like kind of made me sound like ingrate right there like oh it's not makeup shopping only that one thing but like makeup shopping to me is like going like full-blown like new primer new foundation mascaras things like that like getting more than one thing if that makes sense um but i haven't like actually gone makeup shopping in a while which is like really good um but like I don't know if it's just me, but every now and then I get like makeup cravings like to where I want to buy makeup, but like I don't need it, you know, like that's my thing and that's one reason why I haven't bought makeup is because like I don't need a bunch of makeup. I think when I first started YouTube, I felt like like I, why did I say like twice? I felt like I needed like the hot new thing. Like the hot new product that came out and like now that I've like stepped back and like not that I don't record as much because I mean I don't like let's be real but like I was putting too much pressure on myself <laughs> like oh I need to film I need to film I need to film or I need to buy this I need to buy this um I was putting pressure on myself that no one else was so I had to like take a step back and be like look listen lady like you don't you don't need everything which is good because like i'm not i'm not like a working makeup artist i don't need like every makeup product that comes out oh i forgot how pigmented that was i'm using if you've been following me for a while you would know that i was like so obsessed with the city color timeless beauty palette it's a blush and highlighting palette that i got from jim beauty I have not used this in a while and I wanted to use it for the highlights. I feel like like with me not buying makeup, I kind of like have stuck to using the same products. So I went through my makeup drawers and I was like, mm, I haven't used this palette in a while so let me go ahead and use that. And I'm just gonna spritz my face. So I'm gonna post on Instagram recording a video, assume something about me. And let's see. Let's see these assumptions. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, well, let me do my highlight first. I'm putting a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills 
So Hollywood highlight, just to mix it in on top because the highlights in here are really pink. Um, and I don't want to do too much pink. So I'm just going to mix in a little bit of that. A little bit on the Cupid's bow. Now let's move in to a brows. I will say that brows is literally my least favorite part of my makeup routine. Like it literally takes me forever to do my eyebrows. And I, I don't know why. Like I just feel like brows, like if I could blink and have them done I would but that's not the way the world works and I know I could get like microblading and stuff but like I would never pain tolerance level super low um and to me I feel like people who get their eyebrows microbladed are like real brave because what if they like mess up or like what if like they do the outline of it and you're like ooh, love that but then they do the shading and you don't like it it's like putting way too much trust in people but then again like i do have a tattoo so what does that tell you I'm gonna start answering assumptions like I'm starting to get some but I'm gonna do them after I do my brows just so I can give it some time but as we're waiting I look crazy let's listen to some fat jams <laughs> So the first assumption says that you seem like a clingy girl. Facts. When it comes to Eli, okay, when it comes to my relationship with Eli, yes, I will say that I am clingy. Um, I've always been like that with Eli. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's, you know, you know, I don't know. I feel like it's normal. To be clingy but then there i feel like there is a such thing as like a not healthy clingy person you know and i don't think i'm like that bad but i will say like i know i'm clingy i also think that it just depends on like my mood or like what i'm feeling because i'm not clingy all the time um i not that I pick and choose when I'm clingy, but like I do have days where I'm more clingy. I will say like when it's my time of the month, I'm extra clingy. Um, I need like extra attention um, when I'm on my period. So yeah, but yeah, I can be a clingy person. And what? Someone assumed you make more money than Eli. Um, we make just about the same amount of money. Why does that matter though? <laughs> Someone said, I assume you don't like living in Fresno and you assume right. I absolutely, I don't like it. I don't hate it, but like I, this is not where I want to be. Um, I just, I don't like Fresno. Fresno, I feel like is not, you know, it's not for me. Um, there's a lot that goes on here in Fresno. There's a lot of people um, it's much bigger than where I am from, um, which I like that it's bigger because there's more to do, but then again, like, I don't because I, I just don't like a lot of people, and when I say there's a lot of people in Fresno, there are a lot of people in Fresno. Someone said you wish you had more time for YouTube. Um, I do. I actually really do wish I had more time for YouTube, but... YouTube does not pay the bills, so I'm not complaining. Uh, it sucks. Like, I talk to Eli about it all the time. Like, I wish... I wish I had more time to do what I, you know, like my hobby. But sometimes, like, it doesn't work out like that. That's why my day's off. Like, like I just want to, like, chill and, you know whether it's hanging out with Eli or hanging out with friends um 
sometimes I don't like to record and that's, you know, it's not a big deal. I would see like if it were a big deal and like this was my means of, you know, an income, but it's, it's not an income for me. I do not get paid through YouTube and it's not a big deal. It's really, really not. Um, I assume you want to go back to school. Uh, yeah, eventually I do want to go back to school. If you guys didn't know, um, last May I did graduate from Fresno State. Um, I got my bachelor's degree and I miss going to school. I like being a student. I like learning new things. I like, you know, doing hands-on things, um, especially with animals. If you didn't know, I did major in um, pre-vet animal science and it was just, it was so much fun. Once I decide to go back, I am going to have to start paying for it. Um, and a lot of people say, oh, well, you can take out loans or you could do this or that. I've tried to avoid loans for such a long time and I don't want to have to deal with loans. Um, but I think, you know, there's no way I can avoid it if I go back, you know what I mean? So eventually I'm going to have to start, you know, taking out loans. But as of right now, I am enjoying my time off from school and enjoying, you know, working, um, and also like kind of planning a wedding here. Um, so I'm just kind of chilling right now. Someone said you're still friends with people from high school. Um, sorry to burst your bubble, but no, I am not. <laughs> I'm still friends with one person, like Vanessa. I talk to her, you know, like she's, she's literally like my best friend other than Eli. Someone said you and Eli are planning on having kids right after marriage. <laughs> oh, we'll see. That's something that Eli and I talk about every now and then, like, when do you want to have kids? Should we wait? Should we not wait? We'll see. We will see. All that I know is that it's going to go by fast and, you know, time, she she don't wait for people. You know what I mean? Like, she, she does her thing. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye off of camera just because this took way too long um I want to do a cut crease but I didn't think that blue was gonna be like chunky like that so I mean I do like the way it came out though it's like reddish blue it's kind of pretty um I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other eye off of camera and then I'll be right back I wanted to add this little pop of pink. It's one of the Stila glitter and glow thingy majiggies. Um, because I thought it'd be cute. It's kind of cute, you know what I mean? Like just a little in the eyes. I'm going to do my lashes off of camera, but I'm first gonna finish off with the lip. I have not wore this lipstick in such a long time it's literally my favorite lipstick it's by tarte um cosmetics it's a part of their like rainforest line it's in the shade colada literally my favorite nude stick lipstick i just i love it so much on top of that i'm gonna go in with a lip gloss i've never used it before it's by dose of colors and it's in the shade on repeat Ooh, I like the smell. So I know I said I was going to change, but I lied. I'm literally just going to wear this long sleeve with leggings and some sneakers and be on my way. So this is pretty much it for, I guess, my one hour and 20 minute <laughs> transformation. Um, I'm going to do nothing for the rest of the day except for edit this video, watch some This Is Us, and watch YouTube. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and liked hearing some assumptions about me and what's been going on in my personal life, then please give this video a thumbs up as well. 
thumbs up as well as subscribing down below and hitting the push notification bell that way you guys don't miss out on future videos also don't forget to follow me on snapchat twitter and instagram so we can become the best of friends all of that is listed down below as well that is pretty much it for this video i will see you guys in my next one peace out